from the previous video, CCNA or Cisco Certified Network Associate is not a cybersecurity certification. Well, it's true, but we can't deny that networking knowledge is a requirement for you to be a skilled cybersecurity professional. Well, if that's the case, hmm, why are these HRs and recruiters look for CCNA only? Why can't they just go for the higher level CCNP or Cisco Certified Network Professional, specifically CCNP Security? You see, CCNP Security is both networking and security. And this is related to our topic. Is it easy or simple to shift from network engineering to cybersecurity? Let's find out. If you ask me, cybersecurity is heavily integrated to networking. It's not all related to networking though. I know some skilled web application penetration testers who are not versed in networking. And I also know a really good and experienced DLP professional who doesn't know anything about routing and switching. But when it comes to most security appliances and secure solutions, this is where your networking skills really shines. Let's start with firewalls and VPNs. Before, these are all managed by network engineers. Yeah, many companies, their network and network security appliances are all managed by a single team. Not anymore though. It changed since networking and security became complicated. They say, okay, let's separate these two. Here are the network engineers. Here are the security engineers. Here are, here are the NOC. Here are the SOC. And it doesn't stop there. We have firewalls and VPNs. Before, they are separated. They are merged into a single solution. They called it UTM. And they added more functionalities and advancement. And it became next generation firewalls. Here's what I can say. If you are working in a bar, value added reseller or system integrator SI, you are in a good position experience wise. I don't want to say money or salary wise because it's not always the case, but experience wise, oh yeah. Just imagine you handle at least two of these top vendor solutions. These are Cisco, F5, Fortinet, Palo Alto Networks, Checkpoint, Arista, Juniper, etc. These vendors do both network and security. Bonus, if you're also doing endpoint protection, such as Trend Micro, Sentinel-1, Sophos, CrowdStrike, etc. CrowdStrike? Maybe not. I don't know. What do you think? Well, chances are you have a really good experience on both networking and security. All right? It's not only networking and security, but also in enterprise design and architecture. Now, Another advantage working in a VAR or SI would be later, maybe after a few years, you can, they work, you can work directly with those vendors. Just imagine working directly with Cisco, Palo Alto Networks, Arista, F5, and many others. And I can tell you, they give higher than the average salary. Let's go back to the original question. Is it easy to shift from network engineering to cybersecurity? Well, there are still many network engineers who handle next generation firewalls, at least on the design and implementation side. Now, if you are a network engineer and you are only doing routing and switching, it would not be as easy as you would expect. I know some CCIE routing and switching and enterprise wanted to shift to security, but they don't even know how to manage a next generation firewall. Of course, it's not going to be easy. By the way, next generation firewall is different than network firewalls. We're not talking about access control list or Cisco ASA. We're talking about Cisco Firepower, Palo Alto Network's PA series. Now, shifting to cybersecurity would be easy if you specialize in next generation firewall. And when we say next generation firewall, this includes not just firewalls and VPNs. This also includes content filtering, threat intelligence, malware protection, and my favorite, IDS and IPS. 
Now, let's talk about managing IPS or IDS in Next Generation Firewall. Sometimes we call this Next Generation IPS or NGIPS. This is the part where you are required to do continuous policy tuning to balance security and performance. You do this to reduce false positives and accurately identify threats. This involves regularly updating threat signatures, adjust detection thresholds, and fine-tuning rules based on network traffic patterns and emerging threats. Not to network engineering, huh? It's not just next generation firewall. It's not just next generation IPS, you know? There is this one secure solution that I think is more advantage as a network engineer. This is what we call NAC or Network Access Control. This solution involves switching, AAA radius and tag apps, firewalls, wireless VPNs, and even endpoint protection. NAC probably the security solution that is designed and maintained purely by network engineers rather than security engineers. Now, if you are a network engineer who specializes in F5 Big IP, application load balancer, application delivery controller, it's easier to shift to cybersecurity. Just upgrade your skills to Web Application Security and WAF Web Application Firewall as F5 is the best WAF and API protection. And it can also do both on-prem and cloud WAF. And just a little trivia, WAF is more IPS than a firewall. So why do we call it firewall, Web Application Firewall? Well, I don't know. It's maybe because WIPS is already taken. For those who are not familiar, WIP stands for Wireless IPS. Anyway, just to summarize, if you are a CCNA and want to specialize in cybersecurity, just upgrade to CCNP security. Focus on Next Generation Firewall. For Cisco, they have Cisco Firepower. And you can also specialize in NAC, Network Access Control. In Cisco, they have Cisco ICE or Identity Service Engine. And if you are F5 CA or F5 certified administrator in Big IP and want to specialize in cybersecurity, just upgrade to F5 CTS in ASM. Focus on web application security and WAF. Comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to hit the like button.